The Belmont Rap Infuser RI2 will alert the user with an audible alarm if it senses a problem and will display instructions for corrected measures. To silence the alarm and return to normal operation, simply follow the instructions on the display. Here are some troubleshooting tips for the alarms you might experience. A fluid out alarm will occur if the operator allows the system to run out of fluid. The Belmont will immediately stop infusion and automatically clamp off the patient line. Press mute to silence the alarm, add fluids, and press reprime. The system will automatically reprime in 13 seconds. If the fluid bags are not empty, check to make sure they are properly spiked, clamps are open, and the tubing is installed correctly. High amounts of particulates in the blood may clog the coarse blood filter in the reservoir chamber. Replace the reservoir chamber or disposable if it becomes clogged. The air detection alarm would be triggered if air is in the line, the secondary air detection sensor is not firmly seated, or if the air detector sensor is dirty. First open the door to silence the alarm. Squeeze the tubing directly below the air detector to clear any trapped air out of the sensor. Check the air detector and make sure that it is clean and the infuse line is properly seated inside the air detector. Finally, press reprime. The system will resume infusion when the repriming process is complete. Pressure control will display when the set rate is higher than the maximum allowable infusion rate. Infusion will continue during the pressure control alert, but will be automatically regulated within safe limits. To silence the alarm, press the set rate to match the actual rate. Catheter length, patient placement, and non-high flow valves, caps, or extensions may all reduce the maximum achievable infusion rate. A high pressure alarm will sound if the patient line is occluded, the recirculation line is blocked, or the infusion site is not well placed. In this situation, you should inspect the patient and recirculation lines to make sure that the flow path is not blocked. Check to see that the catheter is not too small or too long, and ensure all tubing between the Belmont RI2 and the patient's catheter is able to support the selected infusion rate. The heating fault alarm will most often occur if the disposable set windows or infrared temperature probes are wet, dirty, or blocked. After cleaning and drying surfaces, press retry to continue. Hardware alarms include heater power readback fault and air detector fault. In these cases, power down the system and restart. If these hardware alarms persist, your machine will need servicing.